Kazar, everyone, and welcome to a Fallout 76 intervention. Because people who have camps like this, this, and the ones that I really want to throttle, who deserve throwing out of an airplane, who build camps like this, I've got a fix for you. Like I said, it's a bit of an intervention. Because I saw camps are a thing that I've seen a whole lot more. And from the people I've talked to who build ISOR camps, it's because they literally just want to build, you know, something to put crafting benches down on and then go and play the game and farm stuff. Which is where prefabs come in. Because prefabs are your saving grace and my eye saving grace, okay? I know I'm coming off a bit strong, but ISOR camps really do suck when there's a simple, easy, cheaper method in one of the final tabs of the crafting menu. So, prefabs are fantastic. They come in many different shapes and sizes, all the way down from teeny tiny, which is this CD shed, up to super mega large, like the responders uh, fire tower and stuff like that, okay? Many of them. And they're really easy to use, super cheap, okay? Cheaper than building everything you built at your camp, trust me. And the fact is, they are just so fantastic and so fan dabby dozy that I don't get why people don't use them more often. The only people I see pe uh, using prefabs are well-to-do vendor camps that put the vendor inside the prefab with maybe like recently the Halloween ball and stuff like that, okay? And then they have a, a, a camp separate to the side. These are literally free buildings. I don't get it, okay? So I was thinking, everyone who wants to build at one of those ISO camps, use a prefab. And to help you out, I decided to go through and build them. Now, some of you might be asking, yeah, but it, it probably takes longer to do and so like that. No, each one of these took me 30 seconds to a minute because it's literally scrolling across, putting down the prefab, scrolling back across and putting down the crafting stuff. Now, like I said, the people who build the ISO camps will have probably a bed, the stuff that gives them stat boosts, all the crafting benches that they can fit, and turrets. Now, the CD shed can fit about three in it, um, so I went with the cooking, the armor, and the weapons. This is probably where you want to start off, you know, if you just want to do some stuff. And they're all accessible, you can all, you know, they're easy to get into. Plus a bed, a scrap box, and a stash box. You've got everything you need. And the cool thing is, it's tiny. On the outside, you could put your turrets and whatever else you need. Simple, fan dabby dozy, takes about a minute, right? That's all you got to do, just a minute. But I bet you, scrolling backwards and forth, building all the walls and the floors and the putting down, I bet you it takes more than a minute, doesn't it? Well, you can move on to something a bit more advanced, as I'll call it, which is the BOS bunker, which allows you to have a couple more crafting benches in it, plus a bigger bed if you wanted a bigger bed, and, you know, everything else you need. Plus, it's got some cool effects in it and stuff like that, and I'm pretty sure this came from a scoreboard, so... Most people who build the, uh, the eyesore camps, who are the people who like buy the entire scoreboard most of the time, have got it sorted. And then, this is the one that I know everyone has, okay, it's the shooting range. Now there is absolutely no reason not to use this, and by the way, when I'm saying using prefabs, I don't mean put a prefab in the middle of the road, okay? Please be a little bit courteous with the fact that people do walk around this game on foot instead of fast traveling, which is kind of weird. But the shooting range has an, a bigger interior, which you can put everything you need in, okay? Seriously. Bed, stash box, uh, scrap box. You've got pretty much everything. I even managed to fit in a power armor workbench for crying out loud, okay? It can work. Prefabs are the saving grace to the people who just want to build the ISO camps, get shit done, and move on. And like I said, there are so many different variations. Please start using them. It would make everything a whole lot better. But you guys know the drill. Like, share, and subscribe. And until the next time, stay awesome.